would say that my interest in horses started at an early age, and I mean a very early age. By the time I was three, I was riding my first Derby winner. Unfortunately, my career as a jockey never took off, but I soon discovered a very special place where I could keep up my interest in the horses. Now it's a long time since I placed my first ever bet. AJ Maguire was riding cool ground in the Gold Cup. Hector puts two pound on the nose at 25 to one, and guess what? He came in. Now that bet changed my life, and I've been back in the horses ever since. And I'll tell you something, it's not an easy game to get into. I've had a fair few winners, but I've had a lot more losers. And don't talk to me about losers, because today is just one of those days. Awake the favourite again. Anyone else man, Mr. Roy? What about I'll take? Yeah, that's about his favourite, who knows it? I'm on the field, yes sir. No, no, appreciate it. Come on, Charity. Come on. Come on. At this stage, lads, I may as well buy my own horse. So this is it. I am sick of losing my own money back in other people's horses. I've made the decision, I'm going to buy my own horse. I have a clue how or where to start, but as I'm in Dublin, I'm saying to myself, why not go to the one place in this city where they do have an idea about horses? That's Smithfield. The people down at Smithfield love their horses. They know their horses. They have horses out the backyard, horses in the front garden. Now, I know that I'm not going to get a Rocket Gibraltar or an Istabrak down there, but hopefully I'm going to meet somebody who can help me out or point me in the right direction. So we'll see what happens. Buy a horse, racers. Racers. Out. Take out the third one there, boys. Give me the <laughs> Fine animal. What's his name? Rice. Right. Call him after the rolls. I'd love to buy you, but I'm looking for a horse with a bit of speed. No offense to nobody. Here, twist her around there and give her a trough me, will you? Sorry, just one question. I need to look for a horse that'll win a race. As in a race horse. Hey, Listen to me, to me one question, right? I'm looking for a horse that'll win a race. Horse that'll win a race. Look, no, boys, one team. question. I'm looking for a horse that'll win a race. You win a race? Yeah. I'm race. looking for a race horse. Race horse? Are you in the wrong place today, then? I heard you. I heard you were looking for a horse. I am. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm, looking I'm looking for a race horse. I know, Philip Dolan. Is it, are, you with, is it, are you with this fella? No, no, no. How are you doing? What's your name? Uh, Des O'Connor. Hector. Hector, how are you I'll doing? I'll tell you my predicament. Uh, I want to get a horse that a bit of speed runs on the flat. Yeah. Race I, horse. I know a fella down in Galway. Are you serious? I am, yeah. Lovely. All right. The man I'm looking for all morning. <laughs> and would this fella be interested in hooking up? Oh, he would, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's good, very, very good at, at horses. Judging he... horses. Yeah. Your man says there, am I, where, where would you go? Newmarket. Where do you yeah. say I have to go? You have to go down to Goff, sir. New market. New market. You've been looking for the big Dillons there. Yeah, yeah. But come uh, here, come here. Um, <laughs> what's his name? Uh, Maloney. Harry oh. Maloney. On the level now. On the level. Spit her there. Okay. Des, you're the man. I'll okay. be going round here. Hey, easy. Keep Woo! her down. Keep her hold on. Keep her held over there, Shamey, will you? I'll be going round here all morning like looking for horses and looking for racing, but there's nothing here. Anyway, the deal is done. Okay. Nice talking to you. Right. Thanks Great. a million. To if you're you. talking to him, tell him I'll ring him. I will, yeah. Hector's my name. Yeah. No okay, see you, Hector. Bye. Get in there, you little beauty. We have a contact, boys. We have a contact. That's the most important thing. You have to have the contact. You have to have the mobile number. <laughs> Is it going to be on telly? Is it what? Sorted all morning. I've begun round looking like a blue ass fly. And where do they end up getting me contact for? In my old town itself, Galiev. You buy a good trotting horse on me? A trotting horse? No, but I'm sorted. I got a contact for a race horse, boy. I'd love to, but I have to go. Good luck. Forty mile an hour, Harbour. <laughs> I've been doing 
doing some research on this guy called Porrick Maloney and I'm told that he's got a knack for buying cheap horses and turning them into winners. And that's exactly what I'm looking to do. Because hey, I ain't got millions to spend on a horse. But what's even more interesting, right, and more important than that, all his horses are in training with a guy called PJ Flynn. And I know he's one of the shrewdest and best trainers in the country. So this guy Maloney must be genuine. Now, I hope this is the right house. I don't know if you... Is that working? Can you hear? Yes. Hello, I'm looking for Port Maloney. Speaking. Can I Port, help you? How are you doing? Hector's my name. Pleased to be here. Uh, a friend of a friend put me on to you and put me out this way because I'm looking to buy a racehorse. You have to buy a racehorse? I'm, a I'm a looking, thoroughbred? Well, I'm, yeah, but looking to buy a horse. Are you serious? Totally. And with this friend of a friend, does he know this friend know me well? He does. He just he just told me you're a good judge of a horse. Right. And you want to buy a racehorse? I want to buy a racehorse. Right, well, we better go in and do some business then. Lovely. All right. Spot on. on. Thank you. <clears throat> right. Wow. There's a all the horses. All the horses. Freya. You recognise that? I know the name. Right. They are bordering. She's yours. Bordering July. Bordering the new market sales. Horse and training. Yeah. How much? Eight hundred guineas. Lovely. I've yeah. heard of Freya. There's a fitting. Queen for a day. Queen for a day. 800 guineas. 129,000. I'm actually talking to the owner because I have backed these horses. I've backed for you. I've, okay. in, I've gone in looking at Because I know PJ Flynn for, as, as a good trainer. But now I'm talking to the owner of Queen for a day. Pleased to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. Happy Do you come pleasure. up here at night and go, oh, look at that. Good morning. You look the ball up. <laughs> the other time. Do you do that? Or do you just sit down and go and look lying on the couch with a, with a after eight going, that's my horse? No, I just sit down and say, cheesy nose, that's been a, that was a great day. Where was this, Porrick? The Stone Royal, Hector. Last year. They're all in. They're off. Mm. Illusions, Tom, Palace, Queen, where is she here? Queen for a day. See the guy here so in the nose bend? Yeah. Just in behind her on the green and the red spots. Johnny Morton. And behind the guy with the red and the white. Yeah. Now, she's nowhere to be seen there. Yeah, you just, just come in, just, just come in into, you can just see her now coming into shot here in a sec. Now, look at him, we're getting to work on him. Look, look. Yeah. Now, she doesn't look like a winner there. Yeah, well, it's a long way, a mile. Just takes that bit of getting, you know. Yeah, yeah. Many furlongs in a mile. Nine. <laughs> he is. <laughs> Don't get smart at me now. The man on board, the good jockey. Look, look at the work and the go pushing. Give her every assistance. Now, he's giving her a few smacks. Yeah. Doesn't look like a winner there either. Would you back her there? No, I wouldn't have gone near. I'd be looking at the two guys on the inside. Would you? Oh, now he's getting the moving on. Yeah. Yeah. Look at her, puts the two hands down, and there's the. It's Queen for a day. Who now she pulls away. She wins well, didn't she? Yeah, a couple of minutes, yeah. Look at that. Now, what I'm looking for, that's what I want. I well, want to be with the champagne. I want well, to tell you. Well, 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 I'll tell you that's what, what I want. Well, if you want to win her, right? You see the way that horse is produced for that day? Right. Well, that is all down to Pat Flynn. The trainer. The trainer, right? What I would say to you is I'm actually going to look at my horse is working tomorrow morning in, in Pats and the Gallops. I call it my therapy morning. And okay. if you would like, you're more than welcome to come along with and me, meet, right? And meet Pat Flynn and come along to the yard. You wouldn't mind if we go down, would you? No, it? not at all. You're more than welcome. And come and have a look at all, all the horses working on the gallops Quality. tomorrow morning and see Lovely. what you think Lovely. yourself. No, that's fantastic. And I think we should do that. Lovely. And I'll get to meet PJ Flynn. Meet to meet PJ Flynn. Bitness. Put it there, boy. No problem. Oh, my Polly. I knew you were the man to talk to. I knew you were the right man. I was a good feeling about you, but I wasn't going to say it. Come on, bud, Johnny. Winner all right. Winner all right. So are you, are you nervous about going well, no, here? Well, I know, but it's just that I know Patrick Flynn is one of Ireland's best trainers, and I'm going in here now to meet him. As a, as a guy, will he think I'm a right Joe Soap or a no, green, innocent? Like, what's this oh, guy? Yeah, but who's this, who's this guy and he bought to buy a horse? Yeah, but absolutely. Because, yeah, but, that's like, way, but that's the way everybody, I mean, you, you, you want to get into the game because you love the game. I love you, it. Right, well, this is the perfect start. I mean, you've got to start somewhere. And you've got, you got to start with your first horse. And, you know, and let's hope that he's, they turn out to be looking for us and we can, and we can have, a, we have a little winner and we have a nice day out. Please, God. That's what, and that's all we want. Touch wood. Touch wood. Not much wood in America. Well, no. there is. <laughs> ah, the dash. <laughs> that's great. Yeah. Lovely. Look at that horse looking at me here. Huh? I know. It's mighty, isn't it?
Connor Pat. All right, introduce you to Hector. Hector, how are you? Mr. Flynn, how are you doing? You well? Very well, Hector. Very Pleased good. to meet you. I tell you, we've got a nice morning. Very nice, very nice now. We're just huh? uh, getting, a few, we're getting a few ready for the weekend here. Which yeah. ones are yours here, Parik? That, that's Parik, that's Alkenbury. That's Alkenbury. All right. Yeah. Yes. Cotton, Cotton Lady. Cotton Lady. One wow. Richie. Let's catch the dragon going up the, up the field, up the road there, looks. Yeah. It's another one of yours going up the road. Well, the rumour is that you're, you're, <coughs> you're one of the best judges of blood stuff, blood of horses in the country. You have a good eye for a horse. Is that fact? I can well, see it now. I won't disagree with that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have a good eye for a horse. I can see it in you. This is mad, because we always see the other side of the races. The helicopters flying in, the high-flying millionaires, the champagne. And, but down here it's so relaxed, and here's Pat and Porrick. No problem in the world with me having a look behind the scenes at them. Great, great. It isn't here. Give me, give me a turn into the week, won't you? Here's the, here's the watch call. Here's Queen. Come on, come on. Okay. It's like a main street here, boys. The, the horses are flying by. But it must be a tremendous satisfaction, right? If you buy a horse, the satisfaction of you training that horse to be a winner yeah. and you picking him up, a good judge. Hmm. That's 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 the beauty of this, isn't well, it? I can tell you what now. Hopefully, you will have a winner. But if you do, when when you do, um, you 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 you'll come off the sands and you won't even know you have legs on you. You're just walking on air. <laughs> that's the way it feels. The other thing I wanted to mention, I know I don't know if Paul said to <clears> me, <throat> The, the, the money scale now, I'm not coming in with, on my own helicopter and stuff like this, mm -hmm. so I have a budget. We have a few pounds. Man. Yes, great, great. So you, you, be the, you boys are the judges, and I'm putting all my faith in you. Yes, but like, I mean, um, I said to him, I, I, I said to him how deep was his pocket. Yeah, <laughs> I know, but no, but it didn't be that, uh, that deep. Like, I mean, uh, I mean you didn't, you didn't uh, uh, break yourself for the horse. Like, I mean, you could get a nice handy horse there for handy money. You get a horse from, you get a horse from 2,000 or 1,000 up to Million. The sky's limit, but sky's yeah. limit, yeah. and the one that you get for two might be as good as the one you get for two million. Well, like. You see, that's it, and that's the thing that 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 that's that dark secret that we're trying yeah. to. But see, what we're trying to do, what we're trying to do for you now, uh, Hector, is we'll try and get you the horse for handy money, worth that we think that could be worth a lot more potentially. Eventually. Now, Hector, from yesterday's photograph, you're going to see a queen for a day in the uh -huh. flesh. From the photos to the flesh. From the photos to the flesh. Fantastic. So we're going to have a look at this pet. What's he like, Pat, to train? Beautiful. She's very, very cool filly. Lovely. Oh, yes. Very, very healthy filly. Very oh, yeah. How long she? have you got her, Pat? Uh, I bought her two you years ago. I bought, actually, I bought her, bought her off in Newmarket. I think I, 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 think I sneaked her out of, out of Newmarket. Ah, no. 800 guineas. Nothing she's, wrong with that. She's won 29,000 price money for us. Mm -hmm. See? Do you know the maddest thing is here? I backed this horse. I know my end over matter from seeing him in the paper. Now, he's the guy who owns him. The other fella trains him. I've backed him and I'm in this mad new adventure. So I've got the team assembled and now I'm going to Newmarket to get my hands on my own GG. We're after flying across the pond, lads, and we've landed in England. We're about two hours north of London. And this they call it the Tatterstills Horse Complex. It's also known as HQ. It's known as the heart of the British racing. And somewhere here over the next few days and in this very book with over a thousand pages and over 700 horses is a live animal waiting to be bought with my own money, waiting to be bought by me and the boys. I can't believe it, lads. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to HQ. Welcome to Newmarket. <laughs> Tattersall's complex in Newmarket is more than just the auction ring. There's over 500 horse boxes and tons of stable hands. So you basically pull out any horse that you want to look at. I haven't a clue what I'm looking at. I'm just, <clears throat> I'm all fine looking horses for me. She's won twice since the book was published. Oh, right. The book is great, lads, but no matter how much information you get from it, the process is very hands-on, and the final decision always depends on how a horse looks or behaves in front of the prospective that's, buyer. That's one look, lad, anyway. We've only got another 950 to look at, lads. And this horse by Shishi has caught Pat's attention early on. There's the grey we looked at earlier on by 88. By Shishi at a Linamix. Now, the boys reckon that she'll jump a hurdle. She'll go well over a mile and two soft ground, and I think we're going to go in and have a look at her. Now, going in and have a look at her means one thing. If we're going to have a look at her, we might put a bid in for her, and I've got to come clean with you now. This is the budget that we have on the show. 
The total amount of money I can spend on a horse here today or over the next three days, and hopefully I can buy a horse, is 5,000 guineas. Now that works out about 8,000 euro. Now this horse could go for a lot more, it could go for a lot less. If it goes over 5,000 guineas, lads, I'm out of the reckoning. Now the lads are interested in her, Pat likes her, she's good and she could go over hurdles. Whether or not we can buy her for 5,000, that's another matter. But now I told you, between me seven yourselves, that's the budget. 5,000 guineas. The boys were also anxious to attend a couple of auctions just to get a feel for the different auctioneers and to see what kind of money was changing hands because although they've done this a hundred times before the mood is always different. Well there you go, in a matter of a couple of minutes she's gone to 17 grand and I'm gone. 20,000. You said she'd go for a good price. Well, that was good anyway. It was worth looking at it. Because that's all I was allowed to do. I wasn't even allowed to touch the merchandise. <laughs> 20, 22,000 guineas, lads. So that's the routine. You eat, sleep and breed horses for three days. 24 hours a day. Oops. You couldn't fall to her, could you? Him, he's him, he's him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, actually, it, 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 it's like a car. Here's something I've only learned today, and I've learned so. Right? Has seen, has been seen to box walk and weave. Box walk is when you get a horse into the stable, into its own box, and he starts moving around. Am I right? He's carrying any bit of ability. He's walking around in circles. Good thing or bad thing? Bad thing if you can't stop them. Yes, he's using all his energy. Right. And weave. They stand, they stand at the door and they go over and back. Over and back, yeah. over and <laughs> What do you do when you get nervous? Do you box walker? No. Bite, bite the bed or bite the kitchen or the table? Or? I, I just um, maybe do a bit of weaving. <laughs> a weaver and a dodger. Is that back there, Pat? Okay, okay. Ooh. <laughs> you would get a kick in the back there. You would. I wouldn't, even I wouldn't like to get a kick in the yeah. yeah. Now, when you come over here to buy a horse, you need to have a good team behind you. I've got Pat, I've got Porrick. But when you buy a horse, you need an agent. Exactly like in show business, I need a showbiz agent. You need a bloodstock agent before you come over here to even try and attempt to buy a horse. Isn't that right? That's correct, yeah. And this is the man that I'm glad to have on my team from the current bloodstock agency, Eamon Riley. What, what exactly does a bloodstock agent do? Like? Well, a bloodstock agent is supposed to be the same as a real estate agent or that, to advising people on bloodstock. You know, if somebody goes to, to buy or sell a house, they, they automatically go to an auctioneers to get information. The same with myself. And do you know my budget? I do, yes. Good. Yeah. 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 We should, we should, we should be, be able to. We should be able to. Good stuff. Yeah? No. no I look the like it. I like the look of that horse, that baby. Looked like him. I, I looked the look. <laughs> I like the look of him. So it doesn't matter what I think. That's okay, fine. Huh? I think, I think. How in the name of God are you supposed to make head or tail of that? What time is it, lads? Huh? What time is it now, Eamon? Quarter after eight. It's a long old day, isn't long it? Day right, long day yeah, looking long at day. horses. Oh, yeah. Do you get tired looking at them? Oh, you do, yeah. Here in December, two weeks on the... You'll be here for two solid weeks. Two solid weeks every day. Every day, yeah. Stop, you go mental. So no, when no. you try and go to sleep at night, instead of counting sheep going over a fence... That's all horses <laughs> and bids and... <laughs> So what do you think? Huh? How would you sum up today? What do now? I think? <laughs> it's one of the busiest days I've done. <laughs> There's an awful lot to look at. But yeah. before we wrapped up day one, Pat and Porrick wanted to have a good look at Collard, a horse whose auction was scheduled for early the next morning. Early. Empty. Horse is gone, horse is sold. No, no, no. no, no. Hang, on, hang on a sec, let's just get this straight. Because it's now nine o'clock at night, lads, and I'm getting cold. So this is the one we're looking at first thing in the morning. Yeah. We're all interested in it. Well, yeah. Collard. This fella has done the business. He's won two races, so. Mm. And he could win a whole race. But right. I tell you, he might just make too much money. Right, well, let's, fingers crossed, we'll get Eamon looking at the pedigree. Mm. And uh, <coughs> now, if we get in early in the morning, as you say, you could well, be lucky. You could be lucky. Early in the morning. All right, lads, this is like going back to leaving, sir. This is like a leaving, sir, boog I did for English. And I don't want to look at it anymore tonight. Come on. Right. Mm -hmm. Who's going to the chipper? Or is it the Chinese? <laughs> We're going to the Chinese. Come on. <laughs> Right, and we 
looked at her last, well, she wasn't even in the box last night. We finished up at nine o'clock, so we're here, and it's just nine o'clock in the morning now. The way the boys are saying is you have to get in early to strike, and this is one we like. Later on the day, more people come in, higher bidders come in, more money is exchanged, so we have a squeak this morning if we try and get a bid on. The boys like her. Eamon said he likes her form, that our Porrick likes her form, Pat likes the look of her, and Eamon, the pedigree, likes this high line. High line has been a sire that has had a few winners, so they're happy with it. I think she looks fine, what do you think? <laughs> fine, strong horse. There she is, Pat, what do you think of that? Yeah, she's nice. Um, just worry about the swishing of the tail a little bit. And What's over. the swishing of the tail mean, Pat? Look at it there now. She's swishing just, it, it means that she wouldn't be that, that, that genuine, you know? But still, it mustn't affect her too much because she has won two races, you know, so but she's a lovely, beautifully moving filly. Here she comes now. Will she give us a swish for the camera now? Watch this. It's, no. so it's, a, it's a sign that she's not that relaxed, is it? Well, no, she saw you, Hector, right? She saw me with the fifth shades. Hang no, on, no, I better no. get these off. She must have recognised me from TG Car. She doesn't like Sandy when you're like lessons. Anyway, that's the bell. That bell means the bidding's about to start, lads, so we're going in. As I said to you, it's we'll like that. We'll have a look in there. Eamon, will we go in and have a look? No. We really had high hopes for that one collard But there's a lot of tactics involved And you have to keep your wits about you Because the bidding takes about 2 minutes per horse And it's not a long drawn out process The opening bid is 1000 guineas And 2 minutes later she's gone, sold, done And they do 25 horses in an hour The bidding for Collard quickly became a two horse race between us and your man and your one over there. You can wait a couple of seconds until it's nearly. You're fine, you're fine, you're fine. Close, lads. She's getting close. Pat had lost the run of himself. He even upped me budget by 200 guineas. That's it, lads. That's absolutely cat, lads. I'm absolutely good. Unbelievable. We missed it by about 500 guineas. Started off at 800, went at 1,200, 1,400, went up. My budget is 5,000. The horse was sold for 5,500, and I'm absolutely devastated. We were so close to getting the horse. Looked at him. All the boys liked him. Good form, good prospects, and I didn't have enough money. You're, you're there, you're bidding on the horse, and he's walking around, and you don't even know, because some people are going like this, they're flicking their mobile, some people are touching their ear, so we didn't know who was betting against us. And the boys were telling me, we have her, we have her, we have her. And they said if the auctioneer was a little bit quicker, he was getting going once, I'm going to hit the hammer on 4,800, and he was, we'd always there, go on, go on, get him in. Next minute, some put in a bid for 5,000. Next minute, it went to 5,500. And the boys knew if I had another 500, I was going to run down to the Bloomin' Bank link to get it. 5,500, the horse is gone, but that's it. There's, as you say, Park, there's another couple of hundred, isn't there? I'm the amateur here, boys. Yes. So this must be easy for you. Come on, lads. You're coming here every year. Yeah, you're yeah, busy. Yeah. Yeah. 